right god damn that's a whole lot of necklace what's going on everybody welcome to the wmap the we might argue podcast uh my name is ben uh the funniest in the group that is brandon that is self-proclaimed elijah it's not self-proclaimed really. <laughs> it's all opinionated yeah y'all's opinion it's the only opinion that matters yes sir ski uh how y'all doing man on this lovely episode 59 how y'all doing it's been a f- it's been a reckless day for me today yeah Day. Like I said, you swerve lanes whole again. Interview stuff has been going on, whether like I passed my test or not, because I knew I was gonna get the results today, which I passed. So we take it. This guy over here might be coming back to my team, and the news releasing today has been fucking incredible. But then like it'll like calm down, and then it'll go crazy again. So I don't know. He's he's causing me some stress as well. This he's, guy over he's here. He's pointing at a jersey that says Messi on it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the audio listeners. So like, yeah, it, it's been it's been a crazy day for me. Yeah, I went true. to the gym. The only time I was really like settled was at the gym, because like once I'm working out, like I'm kind of like focused yeah. or in a zone of working out. But then, like, after that, like, I came home and I was like, all right, fuck. Like, I got to go through this bullshit again of, like, waiting for these results. But, yeah, everything went well. That's what's up, bro. The results, I mean, to be fair, they did they did a good job marking it all in one week, so. But, um, yeah, yeah how, how's, how's your days been, your week? Oh, uh, it's been cool. Um, I decided to recreate one of my songs, like just have a new melody over it, and that took an entire week and a half to finally be somewhat satisfied with the melody. Um, I'll probably show y'all after this, but if y'all uh, if y'all want to listen to it, but uh, yeah, I might actually start releasing in like a month or two um it's uh it's all kind of it's all kind of jambled you know all in here i I don't really know what i'm trying to do right now because if i go into sync licensing then i might as well just lock everything up in a vault and and just send things over to like music libraries but if i want to like actually share music then it's like i can't you know if i do one thing i can't do the other you feel me yeah so it's just kind of a uh, uh, fork in the road, you know? True, true. Sort of thing. Still trying to figure shit out. What about you, Elijah? Um, sure, man. Day's been, uh, day's been okay. I didn't do anything. Really just worked. Um, it's been working and brushing my hair all day. Trying to get these waves going. Yeah. Maybe. Jeez. She's gonna be making those TikToks. Oh no! Oh no! Now I gotta take the long way home. Type shit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, uh, I'll give it like a month's time. Gonna get the waves trained and all that. Yeah. Um, sure. But yeah, that's um, that's it. That's what it's all about, bro. Hey, listen. <clears throat> so I looked up a few things. Um, I don't really know where to start. I have a little game for y'all uh, that I Whoa. definitely stole from a lot of people, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, and also, uh, some discoveries I've I've made in terms of like what's illegal and what's not. And I just wanted to like get y'all opinion on certain shit. Um, so I guess we'll start there actually, real quick. Um, did you know? Did you know cannibalism is not illegal? Not illegal. Yeah, like it's legal in Canada. Yes. Well, like everywhere, I'm pretty sure. But it would, like, I guess it's it's like a matter of someone would be the prerequisite. Yeah, it's a matter of, of how you obtain this body. Yeah. Like it's, it's it's it just blew my mind the other day. Like, like you don't. Really I mean, think I about feel it. like there should be a like law. For cannibalism 
if you just find a dead body, right? Like you didn't kill her or anything, and you eat it. Yeah, you might have to be locked up still. Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. imagine like you just stumble upon a body and then you just like slowly just fucking munch on it. <laughs> what the... Like what the fuck? And, like it's how would you legal? I, how would you legally obtain human flesh to eat? Uh, so the example I saw that I read online was like, if it's in somebody's will that they specifically want their body to be consumed by people like you would write it in your will like you would you want this person this person this person this person to to eat me when i they pass. Just have a feast a feast when oh, when you die like yeah but what if well, like isn't that just crazy though like no nah, it's, it's i it's, i don't uh, know I... it's intense for sure like would, would y'all would y'all no, show up to no. the dinner table for no, that? No, I already knew what the question was. No. <laughs> if you had to eat a part, though, what part would it be? What? Uh, what do you Yo. Mean? Yeah. If you had to eat a, a, a part of the body. Nigga, it doesn't matter. Nah, bro. That that doesn't matter. I'm just like, not eating the like, Even like... if, like, my, my mom could come up to me, like, tomorrow and be like, if you if you love me when I die, eat my body. I'm like, no, that's not happening. I don't care what. I like. I don't care what it is. All right. What if it was like this, right? Um. Uh. During like when they're in the morgue, they they want their hands to be chopped off or whatever, right? And then the will goes out and the invitation goes out to ten of the person's closest people, and then the request is to. You know, they have like all the, you know, the covers over the plates and you don't really know what's going on. And it's like, all right, so here's what was on the will. Uh, if all, everyone would just see what's under the, the thing. It's a finger each. And it's like y'all are the 10 most important people to this person. What are the 13 reasons why am I? And he wants you to eat a finger, his finger, the person's finger. Sorry, I'm spacing out a lot right now. Y'all not gonna eat it. What if it was like seasoned and cooked and like no, no, not even no, on no raw thing. No, no. What if it like looked like no, like a no chicken foot? No, there's no way. There's no way I'm eating a bar. I don't even know. Like no, I'm not gonna lie. There's for no the, for the sentiment, like I, you know, I, I just have to firm it, bro. I can't rate it. Thinking about me, no, putting me on this, you know, damn, I didn't even know we were close like that. You know what, Ben? Then I will. In death, I will definitely sacrifice a finger. But we not cool like that. <laughs> I'll send you my middle finger. That's what's up, man. But apparently, it tastes like uh, veal, human flesh. Y'all fuck with veal? Yeah, yeah, I fuck with veal. I think I've eaten veal once. Same. Or twice I've, I've had life. veal one time, and it's because I was curious. And I, I'm pretty sure the other option was shit. Um. I'm pretty sure I ate it at California sandwiches and like I it, it the sandwich was just bad so I don't remember what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. No, nah, but it's tough though. I have a thing like I like the texture is weird babies, though. The texture is weird. The texture is weird. It's a baby cow, bro. Like that just that feels weird to me. Yeah. But then like we eat well, eggs, I, though. I didn't know that till now. You didn't know the veal was baby cow? Keep in mind that I don't consume veal. Do you so consume like, eggs? Me neither, me neither. Do you consume eggs? So I said, that's yeah. the eggs are the same thing, though. It's it's, it's cow embryos. <laughs> you mean chicken? <laughs> oh, it's chicken. <laughs> yeah, today is not a good day, bro. That was crazy. No, but <laughs> eggs, like, like, eggs, though, will never become chickens. Like Yes. No, no, the ones that like don't like turn into like chickens, they never become chickens. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, right? Because we eat them. No, I'm pretty sure that. Wait, let me let let, let, let me let me figure it out and I'll come back to you. Look, look up, uh, yeah, look up on YouTube, uh, uh, baby fawn. There's a guy who goes to the grocery store, uh, and he gets like a a car a, a thing carton of eggs. It wasn't like regular eggs, though. I forget what it's called. It's like fawn eggs. And um, he like uh, pokes and 
sees which one of the 12 eggs has like some sort of life. And then he, uh, he nurses the egg, the one of the eggs that has life and then becomes a, a fully grown bird. Yeah. And no, it's crazy. Cause like with what Brandon's saying, they would have to somehow get into the egg without breaking the, without breaking the shell. No. Yeah. So technically they all become like chicks, I guess. But it's normally fertilized or, I guess, not fertilized very early on. Oh, okay. So, like, it's not like, oh, every egg, like, you have yeah. was destined to become a chick. I guess it was, but then they you, stop like, it, like fertil- really yeah, yeah, you, they stop it really early. So, like, I guess you can't really think of it like that. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if we've talked about it uh, on the podcast, but you've talked about it with us uh, outside of it. I'm assuming uh, you are vegetarian still, or oh, for a week and a half. Uh, Week and a half. Talk us through that journey, man. What was like the, what was the science? What was the stepping stones to to why you did it? How it went? How it ended? Um, don't get me wrong. I uh, I like meat. Like I, I enjoy eating meat. But uh uh-huh. hey, yo. that's kind of speak these days. <laughs> what? But uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I understand. But uh, I was going th- like, and I was going through a phase where uh, I was just getting turned off by meat. Like slowly, even now, like slowly, I'm just becoming less and less interested in eating meats, eggs. I can't really have eggs. I had a fried egg and a sandwich this morning, but like. Uh, the last time I had eggs before that was like months ago. Um, just something about, you know, like when you eat like a fatty piece of chicken and it's like, bleh, like I don't want to consume all that fat. That's how like I felt just eating regular meats. <clears throat> so I was already thinking about doing it. And then I watched a, a documentary on Netflix that uh, went through all the, you know, the science of being vegetarian and all that. Um, and it, it like basically was just saying like, if you, consume if you cut me out of your diet there's a lot of health benefits um and so i wanted to uh to try it and uh it wasn't it wasn't bad like i'm not gonna lie the um the change uh kind of change even though i I eat meats again it kind of changed my diet to where i eat less meat and i eat a lot more healthy stuff like instead of having just like eggs and some toast in the morning, like I'll have like a few, a few fruits, you know, maybe a smoothie, a salad, you know, something a bit healthier. Um, but the reason the reason why I started eating meat again is just because uh, I didn't have enough power at the gym. Mm. I don't know I don't know what it was, but uh, the week that the two weeks I I, I went, I just didn't have the same amount of juice um so i was probably i probably wasn't doing it correctly like i was probably missing something in the vegetarian diet but uh it was a good experience i did feel i felt hornier healthier like it was good i'm not gonna lie so i might try it again later did you like still like consume a decent amount of protein like were you taking a lot of protein and protein shakes um, yeah, so I would take protein shakes. Um, I would so eat like how many up. grams? I would I'd actually get like around, I would try and get around the same amount as I do eating meats by eating uh, uh, meat supplements, so like plant based chicken or plant based breakfast sausages. They don't taste nearly as good. They don't taste nearly Brother, as good. Just, 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 they don't just taste have good. like two or three protein wow. shakes per day and just call it dog. No, those are disgusting. I don't and know then, how uh, those are disgusting to you. You need to find tofu. Tofu what? was good. Tofu was really good. Yeah, but protein shakes aren't bad. You just need to find the right balance. Protein shakes? I've tried like whey protein. I've tried like the the, the isolate no, no, one. Brother, I've tried the vegetarian one. It's I've well, tried, the like, vegetarian one's tough. But I've tried listen, four or five different ones. They all make me, they don't taste bad. I can drink them. They, they don't taste bad. They make me shit. That's the problem. 
<laughs> that's that's the, it's not the taste, not the taste. Guy be it's buying high food. high fiber protein powder. Bro, they're all making me shit. It's just it's terrible. <clears throat> but so does creatine though. So all right, well, I guess you're back to consuming meat. Yeah, I am. Welcome back, brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I was I was talking to uh, I was talking to one of our friends, um, and we were, we were thinking, or I was thinking that you should just go through a dirty bulk and just consume as much as possible and feel like shit on a regular basis, just to you know get the pace going on on gaining some weight, and uh, you know because I feel like you could just work it work it out anyway. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, you could do that, but I'm not. I'm not that committed to to it. Nah, that's kind of risky. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, 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 like, I, yeah. Go ahead, Brandon. Go ahead. Yeah, you mess around and fuck up your metabolism, and then just like, yo. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I like getting bigger. The only reason you go to the gym, yeah. but I'm not like that concerned with the gains like the gains come the gains come i'm more i'm more like uh you know worried about just getting stronger i just um, remembered i didn't have protein today yeah but um you should just follow Tariq's roger um yeah yeah i yeah. I, I understand that like he doesn't uh that you don't like certain things that he does like creatine or muscle mass or whatever he else he does brother trust me when i tell you Tariq doesn't like doing it either he just knows that that's what he's got to do but it's just like it's just consuming something and then once it's done like you know it's it's, it's over no nah, like <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. no okay, okay but he's he's different like his his goal or one of his goals is to like be big like that's yeah. not that's not one of my uh like sure I want to get bigger, but like that's not really you know something that I care about it's as like, much. It's not top like, of the list. It's not on top of the list at all. So he'll like not play basketball for months to not run and lose gains. Like no, no, oh, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it that far. And like um, I try to do the mask gainer stuff. Again, my body just just doesn't like it so i'm not gonna you know go through feeling like shit just to like you know, get get big and then you have I'm to maintain it nah. i'm not gonna lie i saw Tariq right when we went to the gym the other day and my dude's forearm forearm veins were crazy bro he's massive y'all went to the gym the other day he's, he's massive we were, we were playing basketball and i think Tariq was just going like working out regularly he just worked out oh when was this uh, Must have missed my invite in the mail or something. If it makes you feel better, I I always get invited like twenty or thirty minutes beforehand. Ah, I don't know why I didn't get an invite <laughs> earlier. I seem to not get invites at all. <laughs> okay, we only invite the funniest people. Uh, that's crazy. So what? Y'all <laughs> just y'all just voted me the funniest for what? No. <laughs> The no, way just, I I think way, we just don't think we're you're gonna play basketball. Nigga, I'm gonna we work way. out. That, that, we'll none work of us out. were invited. In, none of us were invited in that. That was just Tariq and Ali. But then um, I asked Ali if he wanted to play basketball, and he's like, "Oh, me and Ali are gonna get food. So you want to go hoop before?" I'm like, "Sure." So then we went to go hoop before, and then when we get there, he's like, "Yo, what's what's uh what's Brandon saying? He's want to come play." I'm like, oh shit, I haven't talked to Brandon today. I have called him. And that's how that happened. But like none of us were invited. That was those two plans originally. Yeah. Then Tariq picked me up. So I'll feel left out, Ben. That wasn't I wasn't even invited to that. And I thought Tariq was gonna play basketball too. It's only when we got to uh <laughs> we got to the gym and he pulled out Converse's, and I'm like, 
this isn't the seventies. You're not playing Don versus. I was like, <laughs> I was not like, yeah, those, those are some flat ass shoes. You're working out. I was like, you came here to work out, and he got me because in the car ride there, I was like, yo, how long has it been since you played basketball and all this stuff? And he like was answering my questions like he was going to play. <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever, man. Yeah, no, like he looked, he looked really good, and like I'm proud of him. You know, he committed to something, and like he went and got it. But. There's like certain things that you have to do to get there in a faster way. And it just, it's not my priority. So I'm not going to put it ahead of stuff. I'm going to play basketball. I'm not going to take a mass gainer and have diarrhea after to get big. No, I'm not going to take three times the amount of creatine to get big. Like, no, no, no. I got, I'll get there when I get there is my, is my way of looking at it. Guys have been rushing for days. Yo. Yeah. But anyways, the weave are coming. Uh, what else do you guys want to talk about? So, like, where'd y'all, where'd y'all get food and shit? <laughs> what? So what happened? Nothing. Like, so, answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Uh, we got food at uh, Kanjiki. Wow, wow, really, really. Over, over in Uptown, huh? I didn't. I also didn't know we were going for ramen until I got to the gym, and Ali was like, "Yo, Brandon, <laughs> yo, that was a pretty good version." That was, pretty... that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yo, Brandon, you trying to go ramen after? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I guess. Yo, that was actually a crazy impression. I was so proud of how I did that. Oh my days. Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. So... But yeah, I didn't find. I thought we were just playing ball. I thought Tariq was playing ball. So. Yeah, it was a mismatch today for me as well. I had no idea what was going on. Me neither. And I didn't get ramen either. Me and Elijah didn't get ramen. Yeah. But uh, Ben, we send tomorrow. We send tomorrow, Ben. Like, I don't want to hang out with y'all niggas, bro. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with y'all niggas, bro. Y'all don't want to think about me or nothing. Bro, if Tariq is going to LA Fitness, he is not playing basketball, bro. I've known this, and I've never gone to the gym with him, bro. Come on, bro. There's no way. There's no anyway, bro. Let's just let's well, move the on. way Ali phrased it, he was like, let's "Yo, move Tariq on, is coming to play basketball." Let's play my game, like, bro. Let's play my game, all right. bro. All right. So, the game is. Wow, I cannot believe y'all niggas. The game is uh red flag or green flag. That's what the game is Yo, called. I- yeah, man. I, what? I, I said, let's go to Wendy's. Nigga, let me, day. let me play the wanna... game. First of all, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> that was two weeks ago, all right? And I lost track of time. And you, plus, no, no. You, you are too far that... away. I told you I'd meet you in the middle. That's, I, that's, that's yo, too much, bro. I told this guy. This guy was like, you know what? I'm just going to go cook at Nigga, home. I had to be somewhere you know what anyway. This guy did? And then you know what this guy did? Instead of cooking at home. He went to Wendy's anyway. You know what would have happened if, if you showed up at the Wendy's? <laughs> what? We would have gotten our food. I don't know. I don't know if we were going to get our food together or not. Like, I would have been there, gotten my food, maybe wait for you to show up, say what's up, and then leave. And then eat my food on the way to where I needed to go. No, because I had to be somewhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, do, do your game. They got fucking like reschedule or something, bro. Anyway, all right, red flag or green flag. So I will list out. I have like a whole list full of. I have a whole list full of shit. You feel me? So, um, I'm gonna say it. Uh, doesn't drink water out there. What? Doesn't drink water. Damn, man, you could read this shit. <laughs> Whoa! How the hell did you see that? Yeah, that was crazy. All right, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Just let me know, red or green flag, if you guys want to get into it. Feel free. 
it is encouraged. Oh my God. Blase, blase, blase. So I guess since you read it, let's just get it out of the way. Um, doesn't drink water or just doesn't drink a lot of water. I guess there's no middle ground, so that's a red flag. Yeah. Uh, that's a red flag. I've experienced that. And that's a red flag. Yeah. yeah you gotta Even water, me right? and I, like, like I, I don't drink water as often as I should, but like, as long as it's some good water, you know what I mean? Like, if I came to your house and all you have is Aquafina, that's a problem, bro. That's a problem. Give me tap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. When I did that music video, uh, whenever that was, we got McDonald's, right? And then um, a lot of us didn't really say what we wanted for drinks. So then they ended up getting six bottles of uh, Dasani. <laughs> and I really contemplated just dehydrating for the whole day, bro. I just like it was fucked. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. let's see. Uh, good morning texts at noon. That's that's green. a green flag. Yeah. I have to say that's a green flag because that's me. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. If I say it's a red flag, that's bad on me. If they just wake up in in the afternoon, then like, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. Uh. Covered in tattoos that have no meaning. If she's completely covered in them. Yeah, completely covered. That's a red flag. You can have like I, I have no problem with meaningless tattoos. Hmm. If it, if you have a couple meaningless tattoos, then it's more leaning to green flag. But like covered in them, like like literally all of your body, like nah. Yeah, what if, what if you have like? What are you saying, uh, uh, Joe? I said if she if she looks like Emily Chopper with those tattoos, like no. Mm. Like up to the neck and stuff, no. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, let's move on. Um, expects you to pay for everything. That's a red flag. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a red. red. Flag. That's like, red. and and that's not even me as a bad thing, but like, I can see it in terms of like, we'll just be going out, and she'll be shopping, and she'll want to buy something, and like. I guess expecting, like, I have no problem with paying, but expecting me to pay every single time for something that I might not even use is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, no, that's, that's the way I'm, that's the way I see your question that you're asking. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I would pay for everything, but if you're, if we're about, like, if we're walking to the cashier and all of a sudden you're just staring at me to pay, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. like, we're just not buying like, stuff. Sometimes I'd be, here. Are really as assertive, like when paying for stuff, especially if we're both gonna use it. I like I try to pay for it because, like, why not? Especially for something small. But if, like, if we go to like Sephora, right, and she's buying a bunch of beauty products, like you know, it's just, like she just ends up paying for it because it's what she's gonna use. But if it's something we're doing together, I feel like we have a very 50 50 relationship anyway. So sometimes I'll pay and sometimes she'll pay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, only has male friends. Only that's a red flag. Only yeah. has male friends. That's a red flag. Only has male friends. Mm -hmm. Like that's not even red. a single female. That's crazy. That's that's red. Okay. Now, how about only has female friends? Green. Because there's no in between, so green. I feel like if they only have female friends, that they're like high key toxic, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say a bit of a red flag, like only female friends. I feel like, like not a huge red flag, but like I feel like you should just have friends with both. Like, are you good? What happened to you? I tried to on my monitor by accident. I look devastated. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was like, I, I turned my computer off, and I'm like, no, but I I, I turned off the monitor, not the computer. Um, uh, yeah, yeah only has... to red flags. I I flags. feel like if you are unable to, like, even make one or two friends of 
of like the opposite of what the majority is like there's just something wrong and uh yeah yeah so it's, something's up something's fishy whether it's like mindset or like just inability to for whatever reason i don't know kind of shady still yeah i can i can agree to a certain like extent. for example if you only if if a girl only has female friends i assume that they think that men and women can't be friends like completely platonic or whatever the fuck yeah so that's just my that that's is, my view on it. that makes a lot of sense i will say my girlfriend only has female friends because the two guy friends that she did have tried to <laughs> yeah they, they try to take it further with her and she cut it off and she doesn't she doesn't go into work she doesn't go to school so she doesn't have an opportunity to meet more guys her, like so the, the work she, had, the work she does do is very female like it is completely female oriented yeah she doesn't have to go into any workplace and she works by herself so she doesn't even have the opportunity to meet uh you know more guys so like the ones that she did have that you know try that made her uncomfortable that was that was it true but um for the most part like 99 percent of the time like yeah, I, I I agree. That's probably probably a red flag. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Believes in astrology. Okay, okay, okay. To what extent? Like, um, I don't think I could be friends with this person because they're a Scorpio. Red flag. <laughs> Yeah, that's that'll be a bit. I don't think we get along because you're Gemini, sort of. Yeah, if, if you're just leaving me with a bunch of based entire red life flag. off of astrology, I'd probably say red flag. But believing in it and like it's not like 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 that, like where you literally bring it up over like minor issues, then yeah, that's a green flag. If it's if you if you don't go too deep into it, but if you're like literally making life decisions or like saying stuff or like yeah. interacting with people based off of astrology, that's a red flag. Yeah. Okay. It what can be? Yeah. Yeah. No matter. Go, go ahead. Okay. What what if we what if we act that right? What if it was like um, it's like uh, oh, I'm I'm so clumsy. It's because I'm a I'm an Aquarius. Eh. <laughs> Yo, oh what just happened? What just happened? If she if she actually believes that, then again, red flag. But you know, if that's something that uh, is like she's just saying it just to say it kind of thing, and you know, that's that's fine. I think it's I think it's just <laughs> fine in general. It's not affecting anyone. I'm clumsy because I'm Aquarius. Okay, well, I'm not gonna think it like me personally. I'm not gonna think anything past that. Uh, like that statement is literally I'm gonna hear it and then I'm just gonna like move on. Yeah, because clumsy is not really something that's important. But if you're like, yeah. uh, sorry, babe, oh, I'm, I'm a cheater because I'm a Leo. Yeah, yeah, that that's a, yeah, right, yeah. I'm a I'm a cheater because I'm a Leo. I'm conceited, you know. It's like, oh, you should have seen this coming. I'm a Leo. <laughs> like, come on. Type. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Uh, doesn't have a hobby. Red flag. Yeah, I'd have to say. I mean, like, what is a hobby, like, necessary? Like, um, I'm trying to think of girl hobbies. That's so the thing, just though. Just like any you... other hobby, no? That's like, the thing. The girls hobby? have hobbies. <laughs> yes, girls have hobbies, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm just like, but, like, name one. Name one, uh, you know, reality TV, keeping that's, up with reality that's TV. Not that's a, a hobby. Nah, that's if, watching entertainment. I'm sure that's a hobby, but like, bro, niggas don't fuck with reality <laughs> TV like that. Like, do y'all fuck with reality TV like that? I think that's a yeah, hobby. But, but that's just watching entertainment, bro. I want to keep up with the Kardashians, bro. Like, you know, that could be a hobby. No, but if, if video games is a hobby, then we gotta give TV shows as a hobby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But video games yeah. is like still an action being performed. 
So you, what you're, you're still doing something. I I get. What do you mean? Yes, you see, like we have to like on two K. We gotta remember our jump shots. We gotta remember what works. You know, they, you know, keeping up with Kardashians. Nigga, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with what Chloe. The beef between Chloe and show, and, and Demma. Yo, I will say, like the show is not that bad. I, I don't. Not know, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I've watched like two episodes in though. my life. What I what I'll say is they're very good at making simple scenarios seem so dramatic. Yeah, mm, they're yeah. very good at doing it. Yeah. So like, you, like when you're watching, you're like, "Oh shit, this is a big deal," and then it just works out. And I'm like, "Yo, wait, like that would have worked out if it was anyone, but they just made it look so crazy." Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, another girl hobby. Uh, I uh, we have a friend whose girlfriend um gets high and puts on makeup in the middle of the night we have a friend you're you're, you're worried about the wrong thing right now bro okay anyways uh i guess red flag i guess you should at least have one hobby. <laughs> watching entertainment's a hobby then just yeah i'm just gonna skim by that one i'm just gonna move on past that <laughs> what, putting, on. getting high and putting on makeup? he's he's more worried about who it is <laughs> that's why he doesn't want to talk about this anymore Wait, like, wait, what just happened? Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, is that, a, is that, a, do you consider that a hobby or not? Like, I thought we were still on this. I, I don't know. All right, that is a hobby? No, getting, well, yeah, sure. Getting high and then putting on makeup. Like, that's literally the routine. Well, I mean, I'm not to say really. All right, so what's a hobby then, bro? I feel like we don't know what hobbies are. Yeah, like, if you go to, if saying, you go to the like, gym, I guess a that's a hobby. hobby. Yeah, that that's a hobby. That's a hobby. Going to the gym, in my opinion, playing video games, playing sports is a hobby. Maybe it's because we're not girls; we're not looking at it the same way. I mean, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to you know benefit it, doubt it, but you're just shutting it down. Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to give it to you. Pause. I'm trying to give it to you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey yo, hey yo. Whoa. I'm trying to like say you know I agree with you now. So I'm saying, yeah, it's a red flag to not have any hobby if you consider yeah. like walking entertainment a hobby. Ma- like, like having having loads of makeup you and know like what? constantly, I you mean, know, painting your face or other people's face. I feel like that should be a hobby, bro. Yeah, I you know what I I would say it's watch. I would say like watching YouTube or like watching YouTube tutorials might be a hobby because I know I'm trying to think of stuff my girlfriend does. Walking a dog can technically be a hobby, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Taking a little care, bit. taking care of a dog can is like it's like a whole lifestyle. Yeah, it could be a hobby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then kind of a red flag. Then yeah, it's a red flag if you have zero. Because then you're just boring. You're yeah, if you're just like staring at the wall, that's kind of crazy. All right. Um, speaking of boring. Is boring. A red flag? Yeah. If they're boring, it's a red flag. You don't always have to be exciting, but like. Because <laughs> really in what? thought about it. No, this is just it's really in thought about it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking because like, boring. Boring is very subjective. Like, or, oh, they. I'm not saying anything wrong. The question. You want to do something that you might find fun, and they're not down. Yeah, okay, but then, like, that, well, I guess that's yeah, a red flag if you guys don't have any common interests, but then anybody can be boring to anybody, like. No, but let's, let's say, let's say this person just wants to, like, stay at home. That's, that's how, the, I guess that's what I consider boring, is they just want to do nothing. Okay, well, then, well, yeah, yeah, obvious, obvious red flag, but, like, uh, for someone like Mark, our friend who goes out all the time and, you know, has a has a very upbeat lifestyle compared to us, uh, he would probably find my girlfriend boring because she doesn't really partake in his activities anymore. She did when she was younger, but not now. No, so like, but that, that's still, to me, that's, that's still, that's still, you can't, you, you're looking at it, I guess, from, like, different perspectives, but you can't find, like, what your girlfriend does as boy like i don't know what you guys do but you guys go out on a fairly regular basis even like with my girlfriend like we try to go out on a fairly regular basis like that's not boring it doesn't matter whether or not you're doing crazy shit or just doing simple couple shit 
you're doing stuff. So I don't see that. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to add some something to the question because I'm like, then it's an obvious red flag. Yeah. Hmm. But it's still red flag. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, wants to hang out three times a week. That's a green flag. Monday. Hey, that's Monday a red flag day. for me. I ain't gonna lie. Monday like, is our day. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> if they're like we to hang out three times a week, like have to, like demand. I mean, it's not really like, demanding, but let's all right. Let's just say it like this. Um, like s- suggests that they want to hang out three times a week, and when you don't, sh- they're not in a good mood. So clingy. Yeah. Um sure. It's a um I would say it's it's a red flag if you if she is that depend on you. I mean okay, based off of this question, I'll say it's a green flag cuz 3 times is not that much for me. Yeah, 3 times is 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 very doable. Yeah. But like if um you know, if she's getting angry that you didn't meet the three day quota, or, uh, quota. Then, then uh then there's a problem that she has like a dependency issue, which often is a signal of other things. Mm-hmm. So yeah. red red flag. Okay, okay, okay. Um we'll just skim through some some that probably shouldn't have been on here. Uh doesn't eat vegetables. That's a red flag. I've also been <laughs> this. You guys are seeing a trend here. Um, I flag. I did not know that, man. All right. No uh, water, no veggies. <laughs> wait, who? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Ask later, bro. Uh, long toenails. <laughs> Red flag. Wait, wait. Pause though. Not eating vegetables or drinking water. I'm not even asking who this person is. I just that's a very Red. crazy Red lifestyle. Flag. Red flag. So yeah, long toenails. Where were we on that? that? That's a red flag as well. Yeah, long long toenails. Yeah, just clip them. It's not that hard. Well, it's not a green flag, but like if there was a if there was a beige flag, I would I would go beige. Yeah, so, I so guess you, I have to say red. You like that sometimes? No, it's just like I sometimes my toenails get long and like I just forget about them. True. I like guess. it isn't until like. It's getting caught like up in my sock. It's not a super red flag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm going in the bed in here. I'm like, oh shit. Okay, yeah. I like, Damn, I got some grip as well. <laughs> it's like extending past your toe. Yeah. Hey, but like, yeah. I play soccer. Like, I, I'm not saying I'm the best with like keeping maintaining it. But like, I play soccer, so like, I guess I notice it more because I'm like using my feet to kick something. Mm-hmm. So like, I'll yeah. notice when my like toenails are too long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's see here. Giving gifts early into dating. Green flag. It's a green flag. It's not. I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, no, that's gonna freak me out. Still a red flag. Like um, a brand new car is kind of crazy, but like, not nah, you know, something... like, uh, like a, a hoodie, chocolates, or like, yeah, hoodie. Like, yeah, that's whatever. Like a like a bracelet. Nah, it's all kind of yeah. crazy to me still. Um, trauma dumps early into dating. She, I, I wouldn't mind it. I would say it's a green flag in terms of I know what I, I know what's going on. Yeah. If she's being honest about you know what she went through and stuff, yeah, it's green. I want anyone in a relationship with me to be able to talk to me. But like, yeah, on like the first date. Well, a first date is kind of crazy. Like, like especially first, first three dates, you, like you're fine with them trauma dumping on you. Then maybe not. I like I wouldn't trauma dump on a date specifically, like a date. Yeah. But if we're hanging out at like your house or something, I don't consider that a date. Within like the first month. Or like two months of our relationship, yeah, that's whatever. But trauma dumping on like a first date, where like I I could just be meeting you, it could be a blind date. Like no, like that would be a little bit weird. But yeah, 
like a month or two in and you're just like chilling at one of your houses it's whatever yeah i i I agree with that like you know first first like couple of dates you're just you know dumping um you're still caught up on your ex and you probably need some some uh some type of closure there but it also depends on on like what it is though it's just like a something about like a previous relationship or something um like yeah that's a that's a red flag but mm. if it's something that you're like genuinely going through and you need like someone to talk to um uh, maybe like a family issue or something um it's a bit different mm. yeah mm-hmm. all right i got seven left i got seven left uh um doesn't so, have social media or is doesn't like, have social media yeah it doesn't matter to me to or me. is it like very low-key like i don't know green like hundred I guess green, but that's green. mostly because it doesn't matter too much. To me. <clears throat> and if there's something be- like higher than green, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably that's first, um, that's fucking mystic. I like, uh, not being great Purple at texting, very... but great in person. That's a green because that's me. So I yeah, have I to say, say it's that's... a green. <laughs> that's, I was gonna say that has to be a green because that's me. I was about to say that's me. I'm a terrible texter. Yeah, I feel like we're all pretty shit at texting. Yeah, yeah. in person we can kick it though, but like, oh, I become text. even I worse, which is the funnier part. I become even worse because now okay, my crazy. my phone, no, no, but my phone, like, it only charges in certain positions, so I have to leave it there. <laughs> so I have to leave it. I have to leave it on my bed in that position. So now I'm constantly walking around without my phone. Like, if I'm downstairs making food, I might be charging my phone. So, like, I might not come back to it for, like, 45 minutes. And I come back, there's, like, three FaceTime missed calls <clears throat> and, like, 10 text messages. Nice. Are you not an overnight like charger? Style. Wait, what? No, I'm not an overnight charger. What? You what? Say, what? <laughs> I said you can only slip in the charger in doggy style. This guy's phone is <laughs> uh, But yeah, do you not charge your phone overnight or? Not anymore. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Because okay. it has to be perfectly still. Yeah. So I have to charge it actually before I go to bed. Because I'll wake up with zero if I don't. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wants you to share your location. Like all the time, yes, red. That's a bit of a red flag. Okay, red. Okay, 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 okay. Red. What? What if they just want to, you know, like, oh, I just want to make sure you're safe. I want to make sure you're okay. Okay, okay. You're, like if I'm me. out, like by a club, and they're like, send your location so I know where you are. But yeah, like, sure. I know, sure, because like I can understand. Like, or like they me. they want your location to always be on. No, that's yeah. a red flag. I have experience with this one as well. Um, this, this one, this one can definitely be. It's red most of the time. It's yeah. red. It's red. Um, just because, like, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of an indication of trust issues. Mm. A lot of times. Um, so that's what I'm about to say. Red flag. But um, if it's like if there's a genuine reason, um, and uh, it makes sense and you can agree with it, like a security concern, mm-hmm. yeah, then then you know then 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 that's fine. Okay, yeah, okay. like always on is kind of crazy. That's a lot of data. Word. Not like that. Ass. That's a lot of data. <laughs> All right, final four. Final four talks during movies and TV shows. Green. I I'll, I'll say slight green flag, because sometimes I have to do that. But like I, me personally, my my biggest annoyance with that is if we're both watching something that we've never time. seen before, we've both seen it for the first time. We're watching all these scenes. In real time, and then and then you ask me, wait, why did they do that? Wait, what? Here's what's going on? The, the, shut the only, off. I don't the know. Reason, <laughs> Sorry, what's up? The only reason I say that's a green flag 
is because I'd rather them ask that and have context. Like, if I generally don't know, yes, it's annoying. But if they're asking me, like, for context and maybe they miss something, then I'd rather tell them so that they know what's going on. Because I'd like, I don't want someone to be watching something and then, like, not like be following what's going on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I'm thinking... uh, Sorry, say what you're gonna say. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. You didn't finish. Uh, I've taken Julia to several Marvel movies, and the only one she's kept up with is Guardians of the Galaxy. She loves Guardians of the Galaxy, like the whole trilogy. That's the only one I don't have to explain anything. But like other Marvel movies, I'll go to and I'll explain stuff to her because like she won't get it, or like won't get it. like at some points like I I stop explaining. I'm like, listen, you're just not gonna understand that it is what it is. Mm. But yeah, other times I'll be like, okay, he's doing this because in a previous movie he did this. Mm. Oh no, like that's that's fair though. That's like a whole. That's like twenty plus movies. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if we're watching like Baby Driver. <laughs> Man, I don't know, bro. It's a kid that's driving. Bro. Experience. I, I don't know why they did that, bro. <laughs> All right, doesn't have a driver's license. I um, want It's a bit of a red flag. It's definitely not a green flag. Yeah, like you should be able to drive, <laughs> like. Whether or not you want to be driven places <clears throat> is a different story, but not being able to drive, like, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be able to drive. Just take yourself somewhere if you need it. Word, 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 word. Yeah, it's definitely not a green flag. Like, so I'm at the gold red. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a certified uh, passenger princess, even though um, my friends don't want to hang out with me anymore for whatever reason. At least you have a license. I guess, but nigga. Anyway, um, uh, this is the last one, and then uh, yeah. So, has a male best friend? Well, I'm going to have to go with it's a red flag because it's not a green flag. Yeah, it's not a green flag. I don't think it. I don't think it's a huge problem, like humongous problem, but I just can't give it a green flag. Yeah, it's not a it's not a green one. Like, it's, it's oh, not, it doesn't I have to be a... for her to see her male best friend. Like, I don't know. That yeah. Like a green flag, but... It doesn't have to be a, a, a red one per se, but definitely not a green one like i have a best friend of the opposite uh gender and uh definitely that's not a green one i'll tell you that <clears throat> okay uh, I'll leave it there. i just i just thought of another one uh a gay best friend i knew that was coming a gay best friend um doesn't matter still red. it's like the same thing red 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 a lie because it's like red prove it <laughs> fuck me <laughs> <laughs> wow wow yo what the fuck was that? wow <laughs> what just happened <laughs> yo yeah what the fuck um no, but like gay guys get away with a lot of things that regular, <laughs> uh, regular guys don't get away with, bro. A lot. Like they'll change in front of them, and like you know, do all kinds of weird shit. It's because, well, they're gay. They don't. They don't like my boobs, anyways. Like no. Oh. Um. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was how how y'all how y'all feeling, bro? Y'all y'all mess with the game or not? Like I think that's the only game I'll ever yeah, provide was- for the pod. It was. It was good. It was. It was yeah, it's a good game. It was chill. Uh, anyway, is, is there anything I want to move on to talk about? Whatever. Uh, Political. I had like like room. one topic that we could talk about, which yeah, was uh, you guys. Well, I I guess Ben didn't. Ben has no interest in it, but Apple's bringing out a VR headset. They had their whole like lineup released today, where they like showed all 
like or some of their new products three thousand five hundred dollar vr headset three five hundred for a headset like or, or VR sorry headset. Heads or whatever you call a, v- it. a vr headset a vr headset um damn the only thing is since it's from apple like it's guaranteed to like not be i'm not gonna say good but not faulty right well i feel like other vr headsets can be yeah I think it also has augmented reality, so like it can scan your surroundings, and like, oh, and make it into something. Yeah. So. Are y'all copping? No, I just wanted to bring that up. Huh? Are you copping? Nah, not for three thousand five hundred dollars. I need to get a, first. I need to get an iPhone that can charge, like, regardless of how it's placed. Yeah. Then, then I can worry about that. I'm an, I need a chip in my brain for free on some Black Mirror shit, bro. <laughs> would you ever get a chip in your brain? Hell like, yeah. That ass? Hell yeah. I know Elijah wouldn't. I don't even need to ask him. Depending on the circumstance. Put Elon Musk tells you, yo, free chip. I wouldn't get a chip in my brain, like, for no reason. Like, I wouldn't just get a chip in my brain to be smarter. Like, I would get a chip in my brain. Because I heard that he's building a chip to fix any cognitive issues, and like that, that can be um, that can be that like being deaf or being blind as well, uh, being paralyzed. <clears throat> Apparently, like the chip that he's building can fix a lot of those things, which is crazy. Um, so I feel like if I lost one of my key senses, like if I lost my my vision or something like that. Yeah, I, I get the chip to get it back, bro. I'm not living blind. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess that's true. But other than that... Like, me in my current state, like, I, I wouldn't just because... Like, I'm good. Like, I just I just don't need... I'm not saying... I'm not, like, telling people not to get it. It's just I personally am okay with living without it. Maybe towards the end of my life. Just because, like, ah, oh, well, fuck it. On some Why San not Junipero this- type shit? Yeah, if it messes me up, who cares, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that makes sense. How do y'all feel about um, blowing down uh, in relationships? Like, like you, you get people... into a relationship and then you you start glowing down? Yeah. Gaining weight. Yep. Gaining weight, <sighs> letting certain things go, like your hair. And then once you break up is when you want to kind of get back into it. Right, go to the gym, and right. get back on the grind, and all that. No, it's it's just all about uh being a little too comfortable, I think. Um, and I'm not a big fan of being too comfortable. So, sorry, I spaced out. Yeah, I think it's all about like... just being too comfortable. Still, yeah, full stop. No, I think it's. I I'll, I'll let Brandon go first before I say anything. I mean, I I don't know. Like, yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter to me. Maybe I, now I'm starting to think that I glow down. Maybe. Did you did you no start idea. dyeing your hair before or after your relationship with Julie? I dyed my hair the very first day of our relationship. Jeez. It just happened that way. Jeez. Like, I I've technically Jeez. never been in a relationship with black hair. Wow! 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 Wow, wow, like wow. the day, we, the night we got together, the next morning I had my appointment from set like a week ago. So, like, if you and Julia break up, you're going back to black hair. Well, I no, I need to go back to black hair anyway. I just, um, I just knocked on wood, you know. Hopefully, I don't have it. But uh, lovely thing. No, I'm going back to black hair after this summer. Um, but yeah, I, jeez, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I had this conversation with uh, my girlfriend yesterday because um, sorry that's kind of sick though we should use that I didn't know you could do that we should use that way more often um yeah she was uh saying that like I'm moving like we broke up or something because I cut my hair, like I got like a new hairstyle. I'm going to the gym now. 
uh, like I'm looking better than when she met me. <clears throat> and I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know why I can't take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. So, I, that, that's what she said. Right? I'm not, I'm, this is not self proclaimed So that's what she said. And then I started thinking, I'm like, well, why would you, like, why do people do it the other way? Like, I get, like, just naturally, you get more relaxed, right? Like, you get a girl or you get a man, and, like, you can kind of, you know, like, you don't have to go to the gym to look good because they're not really trying to attract people mm. and stuff. Like I, I understand the yo, these sounds like you're crazy. <laughs> so I understand the natural, you know, sense of uh uh of relaxation, but like <laughs> <laughs> Alright, natural sense of natural sense of realization. That, uh, uh lock in, lock in, like, lock in, lock in. <laughs> lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, bro. Oh, but, God. like, you, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like naturally already, when you're in a relationship, the person, they don't get less attractive, but you get used to seeing them, right? So, <clears throat> why wait until you're done, the relationship, to look better? Like, just look better while you're in it. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like it actually uh, feels kind of good when mm. your partner sees that you're looking better than when you met them. It's like oh, because usually like it goes the other way. It's like oh, like nigga's like, not not looking the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's um, I think it's uh, it's interesting that she she thinks like. <laughs> It's interesting. It is interesting. Uh, it's funny that she said it, because like a lot of that shit happens on like a subconscious level. Like you're not thinking, oh, like, whoa, yo, she got kind of big. Like she's not as pretty anymore. Like, yeah. You're not, you're not really thinking that at the forefront of your brain, right? Yeah, it should be, it should wow. be more like, uh, you know, oh wow, my my man is, is is looking good after you know we like locked in. Like I'm, I'm happy for this dude. You know. Like, <laughs> like you're that's, done. You're that's done. Great. Uh, I only want nothing but the best for my man. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you are having too much fun with these. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, uh, bro. I was I was in a Discord server. <laughs> Oh, uh, and we were playing Overwatch, and they had this one specific knocking one, and it literally sounds like someone's knocking at your door, bro. So the amount of times you'd hear, like, we'd all like look around, bro. It'd be so dumb. Play it, play it. Uh, I can't. You have to like pay for it. You have to pay for oh. uh, nitro or something. Oh, oh. Wait, he didn't even keybind it. That's crazy. Yeah, no. We we need to figure this out. Oh, I could add I could add some sounds on here. Yeah, yeah, you know I'll figure this out for the next yeah, time. I don't I don't even have permission. I'm trying to get permission to play more sound. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure this out for the next pod. We're gonna have a whole sound ball through Discord. You know, fuck it, we don't need to go to your place. We got everything we need right here in Discord. Yeah, we're all cool to end the pod here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah let's end it. Everybody, thank you for listening to the WMAP, the We Might Argue podcast. Shit. Um, my name is Ben, the funniest person in the group. Yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, that is Brandon. That is Elijah. <laughs> uh, you know, get, get some claps for, for the group. Oh, if you mean. Um, quack, quack, nigga. That's what it's all about, bro. Y'all got any last words, bro? Any last words? Um, hmm. I don't know. Cut your toenails. Drink, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we can do. Drink water, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I hate these niggas because they just do shit and never ask me to hang out. <laughs> All they do is laugh at me like I'm some sort of joke or something.